Hello, 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 all of my fellow goblins, Barnacle, back again for another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. We are still in the Githyanki crash, and we are going to go see if we can find the infirmary. So let's get into it, see what kind of trouble we can cause here. Let's run around this place. I don't know where anything is, so... It's a classroom. I'm sorry, Savage! keep hesitating my instructions were clear because because they don't make sense killing each other like this is stupid or for your silence it seems your child is prattling is attracting an audience you fight again this time daggers only and to the death as instructed who wants to challenge this sniveling istar You? Tuskva! My students do not waste their time fighting such weaklings. But as we seem so intent on doing things differently today, why not? Take a dagger, stranger. This exercise requires nothing more than a blade and a backbone. What are you waiting for? Begin! I... I refuse. There has to be a better way. Kill it. Kill him and put us all out of our misery. You want to kill him? Decisions, decisions. Normally, we wouldn't. We would allow. <clears throat> I guess let's see what happens. Oh my God! We made the saving throw. That's the one time when I don't want to make the saving throw or whatever the whatever roll. You skillfully avoid hitting any major organs, but apparently it was enough. He's out cold. Ah, yet another staggering display of incompetence. Move him out of the way. We've wasted enough time already. Lol. Lol, lol, lol. You Look are at this. well on your way to being cake food. Do better. Alright, well that was interesting. Let's see, what about this way? Entirely too empty. Hatchery. I'd expect to see this is where the eggs are. At the very least. Speak up. Oh dear. Is Stick up permitted to view the birthing pools now? These are strange times. Step carefully while here. Our hatchery is protected by lethal safeguards. I do not wish to pick your remains from them. Most are hatched. Only one remains. Monitored by Varshkok. The caretaker of our young. You may speak to the Vash if you wish. 
but stay away from the egg. There will be no second warning. Interesting. Fighting a battle already, and it's not even born yet. This is the one egg left. So if we decide to get it, that'll be a thing. No time to rest. Side. You know what I wanted to see is like, there's a shit ton of these people, but they all have a bad degree. That's weird. Precious bunks look entirely too soft for my liking. A parasite brimming with magic. Take it. Vertical incision from pineal eye to end of notochord. Intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259. <laughs> Do you have a question? Or are you just going to stand there gawking? I am a child of gift, not discarded rat flesh. Am I not due your respect? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Let the istic with you speak. And I will decide what respect you're owed. A very specific question. One that speaks of a more personal motivation for asking. I can only to choose. You have a parasite of your own. Not me personally, but a friend does. Lol. And you expected charity from us? You are a unique specimen. Hm. All right. My curiosity is piqued. Tell me, how long has your friend been infected? I see you have some knowledge of the process. You'll be aware then that your friend is on borrowed time. Bring them here for purification. I will be waiting. What's our journal say? All right. Uh, the Gustel, the crush's medical expert. May have a way to cure us.
Oh, I'm talking again with the thing closed. Should we deal with this or not? Let's save and see what happens. Have you brought your friend? The specifics are complicated. It's not a comfortable process, but a necessary one. Is that so? Then of course, you'll be treated first. Lie down when you're ready. Even Gith Yankee rarely experiences Aethisk. You are very lucky, Isdick. Let's see. Let's see what she says. This place is enlightening. My own crash, Kalea, is remote and sunless, cloaked in the silence of wild space. My Savage would find this one altogether too genial. Kalir's clutch held three dozen eggs, more or less, though I've learned of creches that harbored a hundred. Humanoid. How I despise the term. Githyanki are quite superior to humans. Our biology slates state that Githyanki came to lay eggs after we escaped a lithid enslavement and took to the astral plane. It's an asexual process. A favorable change by any estimation. Hideous to imagine a life where I couldn't partake in the pleasures of sex without the looming threat of bearing children. Nice. <clears throat> Shikiani. Githyanki chosen by Vlakith herself to bear young. The queen assigns when and where they must lay and how many eggs they must bear. The Shukiani pass their eggs in the material plane. In the astral, time barely passes. It is a meticulous process, carefully timed so that the eggs hatch at once. Go on then. My own Savage would never have threatened a youngling. A waste of time and energy. The pupils themselves culled the weak from their ranks. I myself felled four of my own classmates once Kalir had a hundred times circled Tyrell. Survival. My people have no use for cowards. Every trainee that I slayed was either too weak to withstand the lessons, or was cocky enough to pick a fight they could never win. They underestimated me, so they paid the price. The nice. Githyanki are only as powerful as their weakest warrior. Jaquith de Venzir, the termination of the frail, strengthens us. Go on. My time is vital. Do not squander it. Alright, let's we'll save again. What am I supposed to do? I'll go in here. The device is strange. Made of taut flesh and pockmarked metal. It waits for something. You feel your parasite stare. Do not fear. My experience in operating this machine is unparalleled. There is nothing on any plane stronger than a Zaphis for curing unwanted afflictions. You deny me my due, then seek my comfort. Bah! Sit and be pure!
Your body grows cold, its warmth sapped by the cold metal seat. The machine awakens. You must focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk will do the rest. Layers of magic weave themselves tightly around your head. The tadpole squirms and contracts. It's trying to hide. You realize the device is hunting your parasite, but it's doing so blindly. Without direction, your faculties could be permanently damaged. Your skull groans and bends under the pressure. Then, agony. The machine lashes out aimlessly. Your right temple burns and numbs. Part of you is gone. A part you can no longer recall. An unusually stubborn specimen. Don't let it slip away. This torment. You... You must persist. You must be cleansed. The parasite burrows deeper, sinking its teeth into your brain's exposed tissue. It sucks greedily. You feel yourself ebbing away, while the parasite only grows stronger. It's evolving. Let's try again. Oh my god, for real? How many saving throws do you gotta fail? Jeez Louise. Let's take an inspiration roll. Ridiculous. That's better. That's it. You're almost there. The Zathisk never fails. The device yearns for the creature, for every part of you tainted by its presence. You will be consumed. The tadpole quivers. A different magic is building within it. This one is ancient. Rotten. No. No more! Ooh, an 18, 17, 16, 17. I gotta roll a 17. That shit ain't happening. What booyah? You pour yourself into the tadpole's putrid magic. Its strength multiplied. It unleashes on the machine. The two forces fuse violently together, your brain their conduit. Your body and mind drift apart. You are being undone. Enough! The room swims back into focus. Your mind is fractured, but intact. Inside it, the tadpole lives on, and you feel different. No! No! The Zay Disc! What have you done? My life's work! Gone! And yet you live, and so does your parasite. Her voice cuts with a fanatical edge. An obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. The Zathisk does not fail. The only variable in this experience was you and your parasite. And I will uncover how this happened. Wait here. I will gather my tools.
Parasites must be very unusual. Speak quickly. So much for purification. Skrar! The Safisk. It might have killed you. I felt your torment. The gust still tampered with it. Traitor. And there may be more still. This must be why the Inquisitors come. Vlakith does not abandon Githyanki. The Zathisk was tampered with. There is no other explanation. Now hurry. We must go to the Chirai and inform him of the Doctor's sedition. Okay. We can go do that. Where is that bitch at? We went there, we went there. Guess we go back to the captain's quarters. Anything we can steal from here? Another day, another fight. Nine hells. That's what was in there. Those little shits. trouble than it's worth.
Alright, let's go back. Because I wonder if it was... Because I stole the thing. Let's just see. Not that. We go back a little bit further. This one. I'll redo the. We'll do this. Try to do the same thing we the did last time. The I'll try to fast forward. Blackith's purity distilled. Oh, let's let Lazel do it. Praise Blackith. Let it be done. Sit, child. Let the Zathisk end your suffering. You must focus on the parasite at all times. Oh, Get a different view and stuff, too. Unseen blade cleaves your mind in two. Impossible pain sears your bones and body in concert with Lazel's. Yes, child, speak the Talakit. Meditate on its verses. You feel Lazel's mind rip and rupture. Is this purification? Is this the cure? A 30? Well, we can't even hit a 30, so that ain't happening. No! Fuck it! Purge me of this blight! You share in Lazel's agony. Every cell within her skull bursts into a constellation of fragments, sorted and reassembled. Lazel will die if she remains. This child, Jamar Zala Blackith, call to your queen! <gasps> My queen! Hear me! So, we're just gonna stand here and let it kill her? Is, is that the plan? Your vision narrows. You sense myriad specters of Githyanki past. This is their fate. This is their anguish. Twenty-one. Well, we can't pass any of these checks. We did use one. Last time, so we should use one again to be fair. Oh, we passed. Lazel's life is laid bare among those that came before. Her thoughts are turned to silver thread and relayed to the astral sea. The voices of the dead cry out as one. The Zathis collects memories from the infected and executes them. It is not for curing. It's for killing. Only one again. Oh, we did it again. Ooh, barely. Nice. Nice, nice. Let's go, what? boys. Subscribe. Stagger! What madness is this? The Zathis can nearly destroyed me. I am Githyanki. I will not be Gaeth. My life's work gone. Nice. 
And yet she lives. Basically the same. And so does her parasite. There's something in her voice that goes beyond rage. Curiosity, perhaps, or regret. Whatever it is, you cannot identify it. The Zathisk does not fail. The only variable in this... Wait here. I will gather my tools. So, we'll see no, here. It can't be! It can't! This was my right! I followed protocol. I kept to my faith. Yet the Zathisk might have killed me. The gust still tampered with it. Traitor. Yeah, traitor. And there may be more still. This must... A deception. Proof of the Doctor's manipulations. The Queen does not mislead Gith's children. Now hurry. We must go to the Chirai and inform him of the Doctor's sedition. Alright, so... Do we think that that lady is going to come back with the army? I think it's possible. Is that blood? So, no, never mind. Time to press ahead. A parasite. Take it. It might be useful. Those are all empty. Oh, here's one. Get this one too. There's a parasite nearby. You should take a closer look. All right, let's send uh, Starion back Step here, lightly. here or something. Oh, I've seen. Seen. Let's move. Have to keep going. Here. Put the fighters in the front. Let me cast this. Let me see you and cast this. You. Uh, another dead end. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Us, trying to cure it just might. I gotta do some talking to her. <laughs> Making me sweat. That's Grace. What do you got here? Nothing really. All right, save right here. Uh, oh, action, not reaction. She locked us in, so basically we wait for her to come back. And then I'm going to pause until she comes through the door. All right, here we go, people. They've attacked it first. So. Oh, she counterspelled me, bitch. Fuck those kids, poor thing. That was rude. Time to press ahead.
Path is interrupted by the door. Two attacks and still going. This is worth the cost. Under their noses. my fury critical miss get refreshed Nice 33 damage repost. Oh, Misty Step. Boots have seen everything. 
Damn crit. The only way out is through.
Incoming. Blood comes easy these days. Taste my fury. and I get an opportunity to attack. all the shit we'll go back and hide in here and then we'll come back in the next episode Kinds of loot in this place. Am I too full? Hmm. Too full. Uh, let's see. Get the Yankee half plate, it's fifteen. 17, not really any good necessarily. Githyanki Greatsword, she might like that. Githyanki Crossbow, she might like that. Githyanki Short Sword, let's see if he likes that. Have her carry the armor, which is probably the heaviest. Uh, is that his name? I don't remember. Oh, he has good. Oh, she, she doesn't need that. Good Yankee Longsword. That's potentially a good ring. Four to thirteen. Four to thirteen. I give everybody. I don't know what she has for a crossbow. We don't need these things. All right, that's a little bit better. Let's go in here. 
this last one. Here. Shut the door. Okay. Now, I'll save. Uh, hard save. And, I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. If you like the series as much as I do, why not push that like button? It doesn't hurt you, but it helps me. Helps get the videos out to other people. And if you have any comments, concerns, ideas, suggestions, or whatever, let me know in the comment section below the video. We'll get to find out if just she was a bad guy or if we're going to have to kill the whole Githyanki crush. I don't know. That's going to be a problem. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.